If you've ever driven by Franconia Sculpture Park in Chisago County, there's a good chance you did a double take. From the educational to the entertaining, some of the pieces are 40 feet tall. But most people don't know how this all got started. And in this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lauritsen shows us why the park is having the busiest year on record. Chisago County is known for its scenery. Nature provided much of it. Artists did the rest. A few artists had an idea. They uh, wanted to have an outdoor laboratory to make large scale artworks. That was 1996. As Franconia Sculpture Park approaches its 25th anniversary, it has grown in every sense of the word. There are 120 sculptures here on more than 40 acres of land. They come in all shapes and sizes tall, short, hard to miss, and hidden away. A lot of sculpture parks are sort of like these perfectly manicured landscapes with art plopped into them. Um, here, it's more of a discovery. Before discovery, there has to be design. Artists come from around the world to live and work at Franconia. I decided a couple of years ago to basically shift my practice to be entirely made out of waste. Don Edler is from Los Angeles. He'll spend weeks here creating a tablet sculpture that will be buried in the ground, then rediscovered in a year. He uses recycled materials, but his message is based on current events. The ideas don't come out of nowhere. They come out of constant work, constant uh, research. I think this piece is invariably going to be dedicated to George Floyd. It's kind of like a three column and then three benches over here. Yoon Kaun Chu is from South Korea. Her sculpture will emphasize equality. The color scheme is red because it represents the vein in our in the blood. We have a different skin color, but the, we are one, you know. About a third of the pieces change over every year as new ones move in. Even on a rainy day, their messages shine through. Easily one of the most talked about pieces here, right? Mm -hmm. This is a piece by an uh, artist named Melanie Van Houten. And it's about um, sort of the disappearing rural landscape that I think a lot of people in, in Minnesota can relate to. The only permanent piece is dedicated to the Tuskegee Airmen, and it was created by artist Michael Richards. One of the last pieces that Michael Richards made before he was tragically killed in 9-11. At Franconia, there's a goal to connect art with life. The more labor intensive some of the pieces are, the more birds seem to flock to them. What I love about this work, and I, it was not the artist's original intention, is that it's been appropriated by hundreds of birds. We love when animals sort of take back <laughs> art, um, and this is just the best example here. At every corner, a new discovery, a chance to wonder how, why, and what visitors will find around the next corner. Breathtaking, honestly. Um, and just just so incredibly beautiful so creative and yeah it's just amazing and how much work it made to do all this in Chisago County John Lordson WCCO 4 News the last four months at Franconia have been their busiest ever with triple the attendance. They say a lot of that has to do with being able to socially distance at the park. The park is free, but donations are encouraged. And if you know of a person that John should know about, go ahead and send him your Finding Minnesota ideas at WCCO.com links.